Hello to all. In today's section, we are going to learn about web development second section. So here basically we are going to cover HTML elements and HTML attributes. So we will go through what are the elements, the elements, what types of element that are P tag, H1 to H6 tag, then div tag, VR tag, and void elements, what are void elements. Then we will discuss HTML tags versus elements. What are the difference between tag and elements? Then in attribute, we are going to see that what are alignment operator, then core attributes that are uh, ID, title, class, style. We will go through about this. So first of all, going to HTML tag versus HTML elements. So basically, what is the HTML tag? HTML tag is a tag that starts that have a starts and ending part in the HTML elements of a HTML elements. They are begin with this symbol, which is Angular Angular sign, and this greater sign. Oh, less. This is a less than sign, and this is a greater than sign. They start with the less than sign and ends with the greater than sign. Whatever written in beside it, they are known as tags. The elements. Elements are enclosed. The content in between the tags, the tags, which are being the element, the content in between the any two tags is known as elements. They are considered to be a one. They are considered as such kind of structure or express expression. It generally consists of star tag and the content and then add tag. For example, see, this is the paragraph tag, which we have discussed uh, in previous section. This is the paragraph stack, and now what are uh, we are going to do? There is some content which is written in between them, and there is there is a closing tag over here. So the this see this is the main example. See this is the example. See this is the opening tag of paragraph. This is the ending tag of a paragraph, which is known which is also known as closing tag. And in between what whatever is written over it, it is a HTML element. And this these are the HTML tags. So moving further, so difference between HTML tag element and then attributes. These three things are mm, you can say difference in there are difference between them. So let us see what are those. So first of all, there what is tag? Tags are the which holds the HTML elements. What are the HTML elements? HTML holds the content. Whatever we have to write on the web page, we uh, it holds that. That. What are what are the HTML attributes? HTML attributes to use to describe the characteristics of HTML elements. Uh, HTML elements is the content. So basically, see, this is the HTML tag. And this is the closing tag of HTML. That this is a attribute of HTML. Then this is a content. This is the oh sorry. This is the element of the content. element of the HTML. So HTML start with less than and end with greater. Whatever written in between the HTML tag is known as HTML elements. And then attribute are found for found only. In the starting tags, at uh, this C, HTML attributes are only found in the starting tag. In ending tag, there is nothing. Now, HTML tag are almost like a keyword. Whenever you, whenever, wherever single tag has a unique meaning, a single tag has a unique meaning. Every tag has its own meaning, its own function. That. HTML elements specify the general general content. HTML specify a general content which is be written on the user user page. HTML attributes specify various additional properties to the existing HTML elements. It gave the beauty. Now. Coming on the HTML elements, HTML elements is defined by a starting tag and the elements contain another content and in the end it is the closing tag where the elements name is preceded by the following slash and 
below with q tags so if there are some tags which is p tag which is paragraph tag then h tag which is a heading tag which contains the heading this is the p tag then there is a divisional tag we will see what is a divisional tag and br is stand for break a ruler and uh, it will be insert when we want to break the line so starting with the p tag so p tag is a paragraph tag so browser automatically add a single blank line before and after p element so what is paragraph tag you have simply see in your textbook na that paragraph tag are those tag which are be written in the textbook in the form of paragraphs so basically what uh, you have seen that paragraphs in the textbook that basically what they are doing that they have a space between two paragraph so basically if you are using the different paragraph a different number of paragraph that they will produce same type of space in between them now alignment it uh, it has a css property that property that align the text how we can use the as a style equal to to apply the css uh, cs in between that we will use style equal to in inverted comma we will write the css this this is the css this is the in line css writing in between the tag in the starting of the tag in the opening of a tag it is a in line css so what we are doing uh, to allow the css uh, style equal to then in inverted comma text align the how to align the text uh, what basically what is the align align is you can say that making a text to move in the right left or in center so as you uh, you you notice that whatever uh, in the first program in the first program we have done in the section 1 we have seen that we have uh, made the heading one which is been shifted to the uh, left hand side we can't able to move that so if we want to move that in, into the right side we will write text align right it will be moved to the right side see it will be moved to the right side then if we want to say that text align that color color change the that color to the navy navy so change that color it will ch change the color so it will change the color of that text which is been black by default now it will be changed to the red now moving further next to h1 tag to h6 tag so now here what is the basic h1 to h6 tag are used to define the html headings h1 tag is the most important headline and h6 tag is the least important heading note that using h1 per page it should represent the main heading or subject of the whole page using the h1 as compared to h or uh, h1 or h2 h3 h3 at 4 h5 h6 another uh, h1 is less important than h1 the more uh, the highest is h1 then descending order it will become see first of all we are we can use the attribute like style in style we are going to use background color then color and then uh, text align the text align we can also use in the h2 text color is also we can use in the that paragraph and background color we can also use in the background uh, in this also so what what you are doing we have over here the background color is been of dodger blue color it will be convert the background color into dodger blue color then text color it will be convert into the tomato color then text will be as, uh, aligned into the center now over here the next tag is the div tag it is the most important tag which is been commonly used in the web development to do anything the most common use is this so div tag is known as the divisional tag the divisional tag is used in html to make the division in the content of web pages like text 
image, heading, footer, navigation bar, and another many more stuff that we use in the a common website. All these are be made through the div tag. Div tag as open tag as well as the closing tag. The same way we can close that and open that tag. It is mandatory to close that tag and div tag is the most unstable tag in the web development because it helps you separate out the data in the web page and we can create a particular section for a particular data or a function in the web page. So what this line is saying about that, that we can convert a small bunch of data into a div tag or divide that a website into the div tag and so that we can convert that small part let's say our website consists of one nav bar number one foot, footer and then a content between the these pages so what we can do we can uh, take a one div tag which uh, which will be we will assign that uh, as a navigation bar then when we take the uh, div tag we will assign to the uh, footer part and then when we will take the div tag which where we will uh, write our content so see, div tag has a block level tag. It is a gener generic container and it used to group of various tag which of HTML. So the selection can be created and style can be applied to them. So what is it is saying that group tag is the block block level tag. So see how we, how it is a block level tag. See over here, we have uh, make a, a, a web page which is contest of HTML. Uh, the basic structure of HTML that is HTML head, then title. In title, we are going to give the title, then head is closed. Now, body will be shut. In this, we have declared a three, three div tag. In these th three div tag, the style is background color is yellow. So, what we are doing over here that background color is being converted to the yellow and then this old tag will be a background color yellow then next tag next tag is being a also yellow and next tag is also yellow okay okay we can change our color over here let me show you how wait a second See over here that color has one color has yellow and another color is red and blue and orange so basically what we are going to do in we are going to go to the uh, visual studio code and we will take the su html as it is a section 2 html then we are going to put exclamation sign and press enter it will give us the container then we are going to change the title Ch title i will say that moncovision and now we are going to build a basic website. We are going to remove a meta tag over here. And now what we are going to take a div tag. Div tag, uh, uh, press div and we are going to say that we are going to apply, we are going to write over here, hello. And then we are going to say style equals to, in inverted comma, we are going to say that background color and we will select any color which is green light we will it which can be seen easily then again we are going to say doing same thing now what is the trick over here we want to add same div tag three more times so basically what we are going to say div into three and it will automatically say, uh, make a div type three times See, press enter, it will make div tag automatically because it is a function of a Visual Studio code. Now we are going to make a same background color. Uh, background color will be of, let's say, blue. Then we will write over here, uh, world. Then next, uh, style. Style, then we are going to background color, background color to blue wallet color and then we are going to say hello world then we are going to say wonkovation and then again in the div tag we are going to say that style background color and now we are going to say 
Bollywood color. It is light color, so we are going to say technology. And now we are going to save this program and go live. Just click on the go live button. It will be go live. See over here. And I have said that diff tag is a block element. What is the meaning of block element? That it will take whole space, a whole line, a whole line between that. See, uh, according to uh, us, that if the word is taking this space, this word should be come over here. So no. If we are using a diff tag, na, it will take whole space, whether a line is shorter also. If it is a longer than, if say that the line has uh, completed over here and next uh, like statement is also present, then it will be uh, increase its size. Let's say, uh, okay, we will increase the size over here. Go to Visual Studio Code and write anything about, about here. Say in technology, we are going to write lorem. See, in Visual Studio Code, there is a one function which is called a lorem. While we are writing the lorem, it will insert random text on your web page. See, it has increased its size due to a lot of text inside. As compared to another, it has uh, take the space according to you according to the text inside it. So, from here we can say that the div tag has different uh, is a block element so here the condition has come to true now go, going to the next slide void element what is the void element void element is the which do not have closing tag so we have seen the p tag which has a closing tag h tag h1 tag which has also a closing tag so in C++, there are in web development, there are also tags which do not need any closing, which is image HR. HR is a horizontal ruler. It will uh, pre, uh, give a, a straight line, a vertical straight line. Then BR. BR is a line breaker. We will see how it works and HR also. These are also a void, void element as it, they do not have a closing tag. So HTML uh, document consists of trees of these elements and they specify how the document should be built and what kind of content it should be placed and what part of the document. So according to this, these are being given to the some position in our web page that it is be fixed by the web developer that where this image will be stored, where the horizontal line will be print. All this stuff is being by the web developer. So it is the, in the hand of web developer. So clear this out. We are going to use BR first. And we are putting over here. Let's say BR and press enter. It will break our line over here. See, the line has been break in between this. Now, what we are going to use, we are going to use horizontal line. We are going to use horizontal in between after the world. We will write horizontal ruler HR. It will print a horizontal line. How uh, if we want to again print the horizontal line, we can write also. It will print again horizontal rule. We don't need to close this. So void, uh, void element is been completed. Now we are going to shift to the topic of attributes. And attributes is used to define a Characteristics of HTML elements and it is being placed inside the HTML opening tab. <laughs> According to the uh, CSS, if we take a uh, talk about the uh, CSS, CSS offer three types of inline. Uh, we can create another file or we can declare it top of the HTML file. So it is attribute. Attributes is of different type. We will see what are the those attributes and it should be in opening tag of uh, in opening tag. So all attributes are made up of two parts, name and value. But name it sh uh, should like say, I am going to align the text. So uh, we will say H1 align to center. H1 align equals to center. The align is what is name and value is center. So name is the property you want to set. For example, the paragraph. Paragraph tag is B 
element in the example that carrying the attribute whose name is align and which we which you can use to indicate the alignment of the paragraph page that it is saying that if, uh, we want to align the uh, some text which is been written in the paragraph tag so we will do that we will write in the opening tag of the paragraph that align center so value is what we are going to give to the value of the property to set and always be within the quotation it is always in the quotation mark the below example shows the possibility of the values assigned to the attribute it what are the values can be assigned to the left center right so attribute name and attributes values are in the case sensitive so we we can print into upper case lower case or both in both it will take any anything however the world wide web so trium is a recommended that the lower attributes and lower values in the html4 is recommended that it has been taken that it is b compulsory to the html4 that it you have to take the for uh, you have to give into the lower case one so moving further so first is the align attribute so what is the align attribute <clears throat> align attribute make the text center middle or in right so how we can use first of all we are the basic structure which is head or uh, html in html we are going to declare head head has contained title then title can uh, uh, title after the title we are going to close the head then we are going to use body in body we are going to declare the three paragraph tags in three paragraph tags uh, in we are going to uh, in first paragraph tag we are going to say that align it to the left in center and then in right uh, by default the value is b left if do not declare anything if the value will be also left so after closing the body and closing the html the html file will look like this now we are going to implement see if we go to s1 yeah this is s1 first of all we are going to clear this out and we are going to take a paragraph we are going to take three paragraph so we are going to say p multiply by three it will declare three paragraph now what we are going to say a line center and say this is center now in next right uh, right this is right and left this is left and we are going to say in the live server okay center has been done what have happened to the left right okay right spelling is wrong over here we have corrected this and now see the text has been moved to the right see center has has its own content in the center then we have the right content then we have the left content so moving further we have done with the alignment type now the core attributes come in the, this place there are the four core attributes which is using the uh, html tag but there are many more so what are the core attributes with these core attributes are id title class and type so what is id id attribute of an html tag can be used to uniquely identify any any element within an html page there are two primary reason that we can might want to use an id attribute on an element but at those if an element carries an id attribute as unique identifier it is possible to uni uniquely identify that element 
and its content that if we are going to assign a so basically what is id id is that we are going to assign an id say say that id has a unique value so whatever we we are going to say that if the say p id equals to uh, paragraph say paragraph so what we are going to have what may happen over there that paragraph when we call the paragraph these paragraph this paragraph will be automatically we called or whether we are going to decorate or whether we are going to want to apply the css we are just want to call the this id only see how we can declare the id see paragraph paragraph id equals to p1 so paragraph have this element and if whatever we are going to say to p p1 the this para, uh, para 1 slash 1 will be affected by this id only if we want if you have the two element of the same name within the web page you can use id attribute to distinguish between element that you want to have the same name see there are the two same name which is p1 and p1 so we can distinguish between two between where by the uh, id which is p1 and p2 we can give the first paragraph to p1 and second paragraph to p2 okay fine moving further so next is title attribute what is title attribute title attribute is given to us as a straight title of an element the syntax of an title element is the is simply as explained for the id uh, id attribute so but, but basically what is the title title is basically be simple that syntax of that id uh, title is also same as the id is so basically what you are going to the behavior of the attribute will depend upon the element that can be carried although it is often to display as a tool tip when the cursor is been over the see see what what is the title so why title is basically nothing that but uh, we have write, written any element we have written any content and giving the title to that say that content whenever we put our cursor on on that content now it a small black window or some a pop up will be come and it will say content or uh, there what will be written over their content so example of the title is we are basically given the html in html there is head head inside head there is title we are giving the title that title attribute closing the tag or title then closing the head then body starts then body start in p3 we are giving the title that hello html and in what is the uh, element titled headline tag example then h3 is closed and body is closed and html is also been closed so what will the add output of that let's code on the visual studio code see if i give the title over here title equals to uh, let's say centered and giving this title equals to title equals to c right i have not given to the left side so we can take a difference between them we can cast difference between them so see if i go to the type uh, center tag it will show the center whatever we are written in the into the title bar we are going going to the right it will show the right i am not applied to the uh, left side if i go to the left it will do not show anything now if i going to apply to the left side also see if i going to say that title is also equals to left whatever you want to write left or hello also that it will be if i go to this say left hello whatever you going to write over there it will be shown over there now moving to next next is a class attribute so basically what is the class attribute class attribute is used to associate an element with a style sheet and specify the class element 
you you will learn more about this in the next in uh, css video and you will learn about <clears throat> you have now you can avoid it but we will use in between whenever we want to design anything so it's basically but whatever we, we can you want to do that that say that class equals to one it is similar to the similar like a id it is we are going to give and to we are we want to give us same property say that it, all the content should be center now but will it will be benefit that we are not uh, able to uh, go to the every element and say that style equals to a uh, uh, text element it equals to uh, uh, center now we can say that class class equals to c1 and give those array to class equals to uh, c1 to every track and it will be going to the center all the tags now next tag is style attribute so what is the style attribute we have discussed more uh, some parts of the style attribute how we are going to declare the style attribute is the in cast in uh, cascading uh, css which is cascading style sheet whatever we we will write to the style sheet it is a it is a css this is the css so whatever we are going to write in the style it is a css so how we can write in the style uh, style tag in style attribute it is a attribute so whatever we will write so uh, let's say we are want to design the p p tag so we we can say that p or uh, style equals to font family font family is uh, is for the changing the font of the text whatever we are going to say uh, written over it we going to change we are going to just now we are going to say area now uh, we are want to change the color so we we can color we can change the color with the name g or uh, rgb color or any hash color we can include anything so it will be apply over there we have done already we have done over our website so there are basically more attributes which is we have done the alignment there are value given which is used to align the tag within the html element so it is it contains the top middle and bottom then there is also a bg color which is used for the background color behind and tag now there is a background now we can paste the image behind the uh, let's say the background image then we have done the id what is the use of id we have done the classes we can also set the height and width of an image image table or another things like image table then even uh, we can change the font size of the text also and title we have also done the pop up title has been come on the screen whenever we put our cursor on over the text so that's all about today i hope you all understand today's topics now meet you soon thank you